What other things, Blair? Always fun in the downpour. Always fun in the downpour, she says. It's the most Florida show I've ever seen in my life. Are you coming up through the hole? <laughs> yeah. There's a pretty big blind spot right about here. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see it much. Parker has to dump her tanks before she can go back inside. Do you want some for real alligator shoes? Some real Crocs. There you go. Be careful, you might get shot. <laughs> How's your flash shoes working out? <laughs> I was first in my age group until that last age station and she got me. Today we're going to do a giveaway. What kind of giveaway? <laughs> uh, we're going to do lots of giveaways. <laughs> It'll get better. Blair and I are in uh, St. Augustine at a Harvest Hose golf course. We're in a parking lot, and as you can tell by the windows back there, it's raining outside. It's been raining now for about 24 hours, pretty pretty hard, maybe 36 hours. Uh, it's forecasted for another night, all night tonight, raining. But I, I just want to talk about real quickly, most people think of RVing, and they think of the sunny days and all the fun things, and it's nice outside, and it's easy to get done, what you need to get done, but I want to talk real quick about just the experiences this morning. Putting the bikes on the back of the truck. Now the bikes are wet and been soaking wet all day long, so I have to treat those for rust and lubricate those when we're done, uh, when the sun comes back out. We typically keep them covered, but the covers we have, I can't use them driving down the highway because they just flap around too much and they'll rip. Keeping moisture out of the rig. You can run the fan over the top of the stove, and which the Blair has on right now because she's making some sausage and eggs. I'm really excited about that. Uh, but it... You know, it's kind of noisy in the den. The, the bathroom fan and the shower fan are both wonderful fans, Max Air fans. It's in the 2023 and newer fans, newer models. And you can have those open in the rain, but your fantastic fan up here, you cannot. So Max Air also makes one for this that has a cover on it that can open and close. Uh, that's really nice that you can have it open and running during the rain. And that's one thing, another upgrade we've considered doing in the past and may still do in the future. Boondocking. We've been boondocking for... I think this is our fifth or sixth day straight now. You don't have sun to replenish your solar. So we have the DC to DC charger, plus your seven weight pin does give you some battery back. You know, for example, we drove about three hours this morning uh, with just a seven weight pin plugged in and I'm, I'm back up to about 30% battery from 8%, I think is where we were this morning. Again, because we had the, we cranked up the inverter yesterday and turned on the microwave oven to cook some hamburgers and whatnot inside. So that was running for a couple hours and you know that pretty that drained our battery pretty bad. And there was no sun at all yesterday. So but the moisture inside, the foggy windows, keeping your batteries charged, and then you know, finding a way to charge all your devices. A few weeks back, maybe a few months ago now, I did a video on this uh, portable battery bank here, uh, the Blue Eddy AC70. This thing sits, nestles right handy in the back floorboard of the truck or the in a Blair's car and plugs into the cigarette lighter and can recharge as we drive. So when we're sitting in the rig on days like today where there's no sun and we're trying to conserve rig battery power, uh, we can plug up and charge all our devices on this thing. And then as we drive around town, we can recharge this device as we go. Uh, a really nice option for, for trailer travel or for those of you who boondock quite often. Another thing about driving in the rain is the camera back here on the back of the rig never gets clean. There's always water on it. There's no little windshield wiper. So seeing seeing items in that camera as you drive is, is uh, difficult uh, on rainy days. If you have animals, Piper specifically has to go out and pee and poop at all hours of the day and night sometimes and, and rain and you know nature calls, you gotta go out even in nature. So bringing in a wet dog who's gonna shake and sling water everywhere. You know, we, we line our floor with some old beach towels on those days so we can wipe her off and keep some of the moisture off out of the floor and off the ground as we walk in and out with wet shoes and wet feet. And then where do you hang your wet stuff to dry? Typical Airstreams have hooks right here by the door. And if you hang your wet clothes or wet, you know, uh, rain gear right here by the doors, you're coming out, so you're gonna have a puddle on the floor. You can hang it in the shower, but then you got to walk all the way down the hall with it. 
And then there's, you know, driving around 18 wheelers with all the spray and driving around other people who are <laughs> speeding beyond the posted speed limits in the rain and in a dangerous poor visibility condition. So you got to look out for that. But it's just, it's part of the life. And then when you get where you're going, you got to set up or take down the trailer or dump the tanks or do all that kind of stuff. So this morning, we put the bikes on the back of the truck. We, un, you know, hitched the truck up. We were, we were boondocking, so it wasn't really anything. But then we had to drive over to a spot where we could dump our tanks and refill our fresh water tank and um, situate everything inside and then get on the road and then stop and do what you have to do. And we, we skipped one of our harvest hosts. So there's a harvest host. It's an olive farm. Uh, I don't know the name of it, but we, we pulled up and noticed that the drive to get in there was pretty narrow. And the road that we were on already was very narrow anyway, back barely enough for two cars to go by each other without hitting mirrors. So I walked down the driveway to go check off the spot, and there was an RV already parked in there. And the closer I got, the more I realized they were stuck in there because the guy didn't follow simple instructions and veered off the gravel, gravel drive into the grass and sunk up to his hubcaps and mud on both his tow vehicle and his trailer. So he was sitting there, and the owner of the place was sitting there um, all huffing mad because... Rightfully so, he told the guy, don't get off the road, stay on the road, but the guy didn't follow instructions and drove off into the marshy mud uh, of his yard. And now he's got big ruts through the yard uh, from this guy not following instructions. So we kept going, and now we're at this harvest host at a golf course, which is the first time we stayed at a golf course. It's very close to downtown St. Augustine. We're going to go explore that town tomorrow, so uh, more on that as we know more. But anyway, you may want to consider a portable charging device if you boondock quite a bit. Uh, uh, Solar generators, commonly what they're referred to, but uh, I don't like that term so much. A DC to DC charger in your rig, and and the new Trade Win. If you're interested in that Airstream new Trade Win, it has some kind of device in it, and I'll put it here on the screen because I can't remember specifically off the top of my head what the name of that device is. But it's a, it uses your seven way pin plug to give you more of a charge back to your uh, batteries. So seven way pin typically does a pretty good job of charging, like I said earlier. But there's another option that the Trade Win currently from the factory has that you may want to consider putting in your rig. I don't know anything more than all the things I've just told you. Um, it, you can read the manual for the trade wind specifically and go to that website for that company and, and read all the things about it if that's something that's interesting to you. But our DC to DC charger does pretty well. I don't typically use it driving down the highway, but it is an option that I could do. And I've made the wiring so it reaches the truck while I am driving if I need to. It's just not something I typically do or, or leave on. But what other things, Blair? Always fun in the downpour. Always fun on a downpour, she says. It's the most Florida show I've ever seen in my life. One other thing about dumping your tanks in the rain is having wet hands and trying to put on rubber gloves. It's impossible. They just don't go on all the way. While it was raining, we went to Target and got some new bedspreads. What's it called, Blair? Fort Matanzas. Which means? Murder. Murder. <laughs> This tour of the fort requires a short pontoon ride across the river. Once over there, you get a park ranger-led tour of the history of the fort and are able to ask questions. Very informative, and I think it's necessary, and I'm glad they do it. If you were just left to wander around on your own over there, it would not be ideal. Are you coming up through the hole? <laughs> yep. Once the ranger has completed his tour, you're free to walk around and observe all aspects of the fort. They have some very nice exhibits showing you some of the history and old photos of when they first took it over as a National Park Service. Don't fall asleep on your watch. There's a pretty big blind spot right about here. <laughs> you, can't see you can literally see everything except for the main entrance. You have to come out here and be like, 
Wait a minute. Okay, we're good. <laughs> it's crazy how much warmer it is in here. It's yeah. just covered from the elements. But... What's your favorite aspect of this little fort? I like that there's a ranger-led tour. Like, you don't just get over here and walk around. Yeah. He, like, talks about it for... You like the sponge? Yeah. Sponge rock? It's like SpongeBob. Yeah. From there, we went to downtown St. Augustine and started the trolley tour. You got your trolley sticker? You want some for real alligator shoes? Some real crocs. Be careful, you might get shot. perfect example of why I have the Y splitter because if I had to put my filter on that spigot it would be almost too short to be able to get the hose on the other end of it. I know many people use those flexible little white flexible ones that come with many uh, filters but those things in my opinion are the worst. They leak every single one of them I've ever had probably gone through 30 of them. They've all leaked every single one of them so that's why I get my little Y splitter. The rest of the evening was spent with my wonderful friend James and his beautiful family. We served together 25 years ago. It was great to see him and his family. We then drove a little northwest of Jacksonville to Cary State Forest, where it immediately began to downpour, and I thought it was a great time to wash the rig and the truck to get the salt spray and some of the road grime off. But this rain created a wonderful situation for Blair's event on the next day, her first ultra marathon. I don't want you to drive through that. It's so deep. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I, there's got to be a way through We're only three miles to run around it. you got 12 more miles to run after you run through that. There's got to be a way to cut through the trees. Uh, Karen. Who's <laughs> Tim? A different female name. Casey. No. You, I thought you just said Karen. Not Karen. Carrie. Carrie. Yeah. It's Cary, yeah. <laughs> Cary National Forest or Cary Forest Campground, or something like that. <laughs> Cary State Forest? Yeah, State Park. Yeah. Cary State Forest. Anyway, the campground here is really nice. So if you're in the northern part of Florida, so you're 30 minutes from downtown Jacksonville, northwest-ish, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's six or eight spots here, campgrounds. Blair's just killing mosquitoes. She's going to be running a 50K tomorrow. I'm going to be riding around my bicycle. But what I was getting at is this campground is really nice. The spaces are far apart. The trees are, I think, provide enough shade, but enough open air to get some night sky views if you yeah. want to. You are close to a road, so where there's some road noise. Uh, but the limited spots here, and I'm sure the mosquitoes here on some days are out of control. But 
regardless, it's a nice campground. So if you happen to be traveling through, it's not far off the major intersections, major highways, uh, be a nice little campground to stop here, quiet place. Every camp spot is full. We just happen to get uh, the overflow parking camp spot just because she's running the race. So here we are. Yeah. And we took a tour on the, um, like the, we tried to drive the route today because it's a 15 mile loop. She's got to do it a couple times. Uh, we got about three miles into it and there was a, a pond in the road <laughs> from the rains, the recent rain. So we have, um, we didn't go through it because it didn't know how deep it was. I didn't, I missed Blair through three rocks. I got the last two, but the first reaction from her was hilarious. <laughs> and I'm so sad I didn't video that. It was deep. Deep, so. We so drove through deep. some stuff with the truck, but that thing was probably knee deep. I didn't want to drive through it. So they're going to have to route them through the woods tomorrow if that dissipate. And it's supposed to rain some more tonight. So anyway, let's go get Piper some sniffs. Yep. And drop but Piper has to dump her tanks before she can go back inside. Are you going to be part of the problem or part of the solution? I'm going to be the whole problem. All right, we're walking over. Blair has on all the things. She has her Superman vest on. Wonder Woman watch. Uh, her Crocs. My flash shoes. Flash shoes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it rained more after we made the video yesterday and everything's uh, all the flooded. little paths to get to the pavilion over here flooded but how are you feeling there mm -hmm. we'll see there's another flooded path we'll I see i feel like my uh, my endurance fitness is good yeah it's just a matter of my speed so i'm gonna try and keep the same marathon time i had in december and then just Keep going from there. Okay. Hang on a second. There's someone behind you. I have a, what I believe to be a broken Ooh. pinky finger. Yep. That has <laughs> lingered since maybe the 10th of January. Yep. So six weeks now. Man, it's like I still hurts. And it gets worse. Trying to hold my phone like this is really hard. Speaking of a pinky, I woke up with really, a really painful left pinky toe this morning for whatever what kind of dreams were you having i don't know i blame it on scout yep i do too she puked three times last night uh, probably when i jumped out of bed to make sure she didn't puke on my comforter <laughs> we went yep we'll see caught it in the sheets <laughs> she is whatever she wants to be she is a little of everything mixed up so tough How's your flash shoes working out? <laughs> you running into any water? Yeah, that was that puddle we got to yesterday. Yeah. And one passed it. Some people took their shoes off and walked through it. Oh, what'd you do? I walked around the marsh. Okay. My feet got a little wet, but not anything. Like, I haven't seen it. But you know I kind of like it that way. She wants to be, and she is a little of everything mixed up so tough in a beautiful way.
first in my age group until that last aid station and she got me. <laughs> and as soon as she passed me, I was like, oh, I passed her at like the three mile mark. And I was like, she looks awful close to me in age. She got me. But I'm second in my age group right. and sixth overall for women. Two. Because in top five. Yeah. <laughs> Blair, what's happening? Stuck. You're stuck. We've been driving for an hour and a half and it felt so good to sit down. Show me how you walk. <laughs> It'll get better. It will get better. I don't do them. We have just recently partnered with Lucky Dog, and we have this new Indulge 8 dog bowl that we'd like to pass on to Lucky Winner. It holds 8 cups and 64 ounces. Is it really? Oh yeah, it says that on the box. <laughs> <laughs> How do you win, Blair? I don't know, Brad. How do you win? You can tell them. I honestly don't know. So how did we win last time? Send an email to the email account. How do they get to that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Go to the contact us link on our webpage. Yeah, that one. See. <laughs> I've said enough already. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's high quality. It is high quality. Like those other expensive. Uh on brand dumbbells. How do we know about Lucky Dog brand? I have to... We have recently partnered with them to sell a high quality, high, I don't know. high quality fun things. I just go on long runs and you do all the things. <laughs> but in reality, we have recently partnered with Lucky Dog and we are very happy to be a partner with them. We. I, I longed for good quality dog bowls for Piper when we first got an RV. Uh, and then when we got the Airstreams, I wanted some shiny ones. So I wish I'd had these back then, but I did not. So Lucky Dog Brand has a whole bunch of cool stuff. You can find the link down below about all the things that they sell. But in this video, this giveaway, we're giving this uh, Lucky Dog Bowl to you, the lucky winner. So all you have to do to enter this contest, go to our webpage, 13adventures.com. Click on the contact us link at the top, scroll down, type in your name, your email address. Please make sure that you spell your email correctly because too many times it's in, it's incorrectly spelled and I can't send you back. And then a message you put dog bowl giveaway. I will pick a winner 24 hours after this video releases. So the video is going to come out Sunday morning at eight at Monday morning at eight. No more submissions. And I will submit, I was going to pick a lucky winner based on her spin of the wheel like wheel of fortune but yeah. not but, but it works kind of wheel of fortune because it would be a fortune it is on a wheel yeah to win yeah what's next action dumping tanks in the rain is trying to put on rubber gloves rubber trying to put on rubber gloves <laughs> I said rubber, and then I said gloves. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering why you're laughing. Twice. One other thing about doing your tanks, dumping your tanks in the in the wing, wing. Oh my god! I give up. <laughs> <laughs>